so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Lily Ogini and i make videos from a countryside in nigeria i'm here to tell you about, uh, about a little story of mine how i got stranded with money yeah i have this powerful notes in my hands yet i could not you know do anything because it's as good as i had no money due to the new cbn policy some of us cannot get our revenue from YouTube directly into our local accounts except you open a domiciliary account and then you get paid through your domiciliary account like a dollar and then that way you can walk into the bank here in Nigeria and withdraw or maybe someone is sending you a gift money you know via other parts of the world and they want to do so in dollars they have to do it in dollars and then you must go into the bank to withdraw so because of that a lot of things are you know a lot of us are struggling to you know deal with this thing being paid in dollars is a privilege okay but if you are in a place like mine it can be a I went to the bank withdraw this money and I became stranded because where I used to sell it because I'm no longer in a town and I now live in a rural area. Um, I couldn't sell this money and I was stranded. The man I'm supposed to pay into his account has exceeded his credit limit for the month. It became like, oh my God, I have money yet I'm stranded. <sighs> Living in Nigeria can be so depressing. You see this money right here? I sold it for so cheap because I couldn't get the right buyers due to my new location ah oh, living here is depressing eating three times a day used to be like a normal right for every nigerian but right now reverse is the case you eat twice or once a day if you are lucky to eat three times a day it's like um it's a luxury it's a luxury so it's not been easy living in Nigeria and um, functioning here, especially for those of us that are into content creating for a small channel like mine. Life here is not, <laughs> it's not balanced yet. <sighs> but we keep pushing because no other way but to keep living. So it's a normal week for me, beautiful morning, you know, preparing breakfast for myself and Antonia. Like I told you guys that Praise have refused to come back to my house. Uh, even when I tried to get her forcefully to come back, she refused. She wants to stay with my mom for now. And that is fine by me for now because we are not completely settled. I have not been able to sort out the school issue for her. I allowed her. Uh, so just for Antonia and myself, we decided to toast some bread using you know margarine to just do so and just to chill you know it's been a very beautiful week i'm not gonna lie very busy one just the way i wanted it to be the way i want my life to be like i want to be very busy doing something that gives me joy which includes creating videos for youtube and then making women look beautiful through the use of makeup and all of that so I got contacted because I did a makeup video. I did a makeup for a brother makeup for a friend of mine for free. So other people, someone contacted me from London to be precise that she wanted me to, you know, do her sister's makeup on a Friday, just two days to the day. Funny enough, I already have um, two people booked me ahead. You know, I have someone on friday that's same friday and i have another one on saturday but hey what to do the hustle has to be like exactly what i wanted i'm getting so why not i usually wash my makeup tools and dry them like so even if i'm not having any clients to attend to i love my brushes my tools to be neat so i wash them that was when the message came um someone saw the video a picture of the makeup I did for free on my friends Patricia she decided to contact me and 
beg me to, you know, just um, ask me. I wouldn't say beg. Ask me to go get her sister's makeup done. Not for free, okay? This is all good stuff so that keeps me busy and put food on my table, put diapers and milk for Wendy. Just basically give us recharge card and all that things. Yeah, the pay was good, so I accepted it. My only challenge becomes that I have been booked ahead for that same Friday. But hey, the Ninja Spirit, I'm a single mother who needs more money. As much money as I can get, you know, I have to always navigate a way to balance my time. I had a meeting with the bride and she asked me to come on the same day but by 12 o'clock i mean by two o'clock so the other one have asked me to come earlier like 10 o'clock so i can get her own done then before i go i had to run quickly take antonia and wendy to go visit antonia's mat patana grandmother because we heard she was ill you know antonia have always been living with her like she practically raised antonia so when she saw that I needed assistance, I needed help with the babies because of precious condition and I just newly put to bed then she decided to give me uh, to give Antonia to me. Antonia is actually my niece, my sister's daughter. But um I'm off to visit her patana grandmother. Yeah, she's an aged woman and um why not? So why not? And so I went there because I heard that she was not feeling well. I took Antonia there with Wendy so they can go visit their mama. You know, so that we can just put a little smile on her face. It makes, it counts, you know. I got there, they are happy, simple people. It's my first time in this village and I loved it. See mangoes, they have everything simple. They are not craving for lot of things their lives are less complicated all they want is good health and food to eat and just a peaceful life you know they look at us and they feel like we have it all you know figure out they feel like our lives are perfect they were complimenting um uh, wendy uh ajay butter oh my god if only they know but it's okay some people look that way in my eyes you know they look that way in my eyes Everyone was just looking at us like we had some big deal. You get the kids. Okay, so that's it. I have to quickly do this before I get terribly busy to the extent that I cannot, you know, have time for other things. Cool enough, these are gra um, a maternal grandmom. As Antonia is supposed to be around to help her out with all of these things, but I took her away so. I think it's fair for me to have come visiting and just, you know, make her feel good. Okay, so today is the D-Day for the makeup. I'm going for the first one at Wanokom, Interior Village. I never knew that somebody can find love in that place. <laughs> no disrespect, man. It's just funny, like, how could you leave all the women in this other part of Ukele and go find a wife inside that place? But it's okay. We like our brides. So... I'm getting her makeup done. This is about 10 o'clock in the morning and um, we're getting started because their own is going to be low key and they are going to have it done on time because people are coming from a far distance to attend. I called the other bride. She was already panicking. Are you not coming again? I told her I was coming. Thankfully, John was assigned to me to help me throughout the day by Joel to take me to anywhere I was going so cool i was rushing back to the other um second makeup to the second bride uh whom her sister contacted me for so i had to like run down there you know the other one was waiting because they are coming to marry her and the guy that is coming to marry her the guy that is marrying her it came from a distance place so they were supposed to finish up and leave so they were waiting for me so the wedding can start. Hey, God, I was running. Thankfully, 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 John and I made it to the place. And then, oh, John and I made it to the place. And um, it was, we were right on time. They were waiting for me. And then they started to set things. People are beginning to come gradually. So, 
no time i had to unpack my products unpack them so that she can choose whatever she wants i give people a chance to choose product of their choice for those who comes from the city who knows a lot of things about makeup i give them a choice like some people say i don't want this type of product on my face i'm okay i'm at your service as long as <laughs> you can afford it it's not expensive okay but as long as you make me you pay well I, of course once i agree to do it it means that i'm going to give you all the privileges that you know i give to everyone the job started my worries was that this pretty bright hair once wanted less products on her face she don't want a lot of makeup she in fact she just wanted foundation and powder nothing more in fact she doesn't want lipstick she doesn't want shadow she just wanted simple and i was like worried she doesn't want a lot of products on her face and then we got to cover some imperfection that we all have so i needed to like okay Thankfully, at the end of the day, the makeup came out simple, natural, just the way she wanted it and um, with less products and also were able to, you know, achieve it. And uh, she was happy. That gave me joy. As of the time I filmed the video, I couldn't wait for her to dress up because that was our deal. I told her I had another event to attend and she was cool with it. So when I finished uh, her makeup... I usually like to sit outside to do their makeup because I usually like sitting outside to get their makeup done because there's no electricity here so that natural breeze can blow them. They don't have to sweat, um, you know, for the makeup to be patchy and all of that. I had to run back immediately. I finished from there back to Wanokong to Joel's wedding. Joel is getting married. Okay. And I know that I have to be there. This is his second chance you get. He have been married before. Things fell apart. I, as a friend, am not to judge but to support. So, the marriage didn't work out. Yes, he moved on. <laughs> each other that's the truth for me i'm an introvert if not that jewel his concerns very close person i won't have come i don't like going to parties i don't like going out because i'm not sure i'm even ever going to throw parties i'm not the party freak kind of person you want to get married come on fall in love do the right thing and get out get go get married oh my god i sound rude Ah, <sighs> it's a beautiful day for Joel. He found love again. I'm so happy. That's Bridget dancing like her life depends on it. <laughs> what well, we can give money at um, items and all of that. We rejoice with you, eat with you, and we go, we pray for you, and go. Joya's wedding have really brought out the other side of this guy dancing on a yellow, blue, and cream attire. That one. He's not the social, socialized type. He's not the type you can easily find dancing. It shows you that Joel is there to a lot of us. You get, Onyenye have lost it. Onyenye. So we all came for Joel and then show. Everything was cool. Uibo and Ukele have got some things in common, you know. Our Igbo friends are here. I'm going to show you them Um just hold on. I'm going to show you. They follow us to anywhere we go. Fearlessly. Ukele is safe as any other thing. As in, we don't even believe we are from another place. The only thing that can identify you that you're not from Ukele. Maybe it's the name. You get it? We are so friendly like that. So, our Igbo friends that are here for business, to do business um, at, you know, where we live, they followed Jewel down here. And they're not even acting like 
they are from another place. No, Amechi took charge of the MC part of the occasion, and he did a great job. This is Amechi on black and uh, cream attire, and that's Chinedu right there on blue attire. It's time. This bride is not aware of the culture. What we do here is immediately you finish the ceremony, you are to leave that very day. You are not going to pick your things if you haven't picked them already. She's not aware of the culture. She would have picked them and give hand them over to her best friend, uh, who will in turn bring them over, send them over to her. She's not aware. This is the following day, guys. Six. This is eight minutes past six o'clock in the morning. I'm rushing. Eight minutes past six in the morning. I'm rushing to do the makeup for my third life bride. Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. <gasps> I can't even get a bike. Life so I'm trying good. to walk down to the other side to see if I can find a bike. Life to take is good. Life is good. The hustle continue. I was supposed to sleep life there because I was supposed to sleep there, but because of the baby, I could not. Life is good. No complain. Life is good. So, I'm in a hurry to get to this bride because she has already called me. She wanted to send me a bike, someone to come pick me. She was stressing herself. She didn't want to get makeup done on her face. But I assured her that she's not going to regret it. She's actually my blood sister. She's my little sister. My little sister is getting married. Can you believe it? She doesn't want this. She doesn't want that. She wants it simple and clean. Simple and clean, I showed her. And that Exactly. want this she didn't want that okay no problem at the end of the day she was happy with the result you can see my little sister looking so cute this girl to me is still a baby but she's getting married it's okay she already have something doing and her guy is cool so and they love each other why not i am only there to support people and not to judge people tell them what to do no I can only chip in a little bit of what I think, if you ask my opinion. But I think I'm I'm cool with their um love story. I'm totally in support of it. The fact that I don't really um I'm not this marriage type doesn't mean I don't really appreciate it when people are doing it right. You get it. But when they are doing it because people are doing it, I kind of scratch my head. And then at the end of the day, it is none of my business. So. I got the job done. I did for the bridal train and then send them off to church. My job here is done. I don't have time to go to the church. Even though she's my blood sister, I had to like pack my products, go back to the house, you know, get Wendy and Antonia ready. Praise refused to attend the wedding that she don't want to get her hair done. And my mom told her, if you don't do your hair, you're not coming. Even with the fact that we made her clothes for her, she refused to come, but it's fine. This wedding also happened in the bride's, uh, the groom's village, in interior village. They didn't want to stress anybody, so they had the reception there in the, the house close to the church. So these are the gifts. What we do in Ukele is we give gifts when you are getting married, and your family gives you a lot of kitchen interests because we believe that you have to cook for your husband, cook for people, cook, cook, cook. You can see that we're giving pots, plates, buckets um to store water or to go to the stream flax that's my mother right there lifting the cooler so we they are trying to arrange the family gifts because we brought it from our own house to this place more pots more cooler more plates and we got her a freezer mm. and then we got her a table that table right there that brown table my sister is a dressmaker she actually made all of this beautiful attire that the brother trained myself wore for the wedding so everybody is happy this is the reception and it's nothing much just something simple and i'm so happy that um so that's it this is Prece's dress that she refused to attend the wedding so she didn't get to wear so here come to the end of my vlog. Everybody, we went back to our house. So that's my mom and my sister and um, other people. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching. Gradually, I'll come back to YouTube full time. I love you and bye.